Also, we've got Rosalina selected for Nine Tails. And uh, Zero Suit Sleep is coming out from Pro Bear, possibly. If they stick with these, that is it. They're going to lock in. So, we're going to have a bit of a matchup here. Should be fairly interesting to see. Both of these players have shown great skill throughout the tournament here, scoring big plays for uh, in the duos, as well as uh, showing themselves more than capable of handling their own weight in these solo games. Definitely could see this going either way. Definitely discussing which map that they want to choose. Looks like they're heading in. Blue Bear versus Ninetales. Ninetales playing on Zero Suit. Seamus and uh, Rosalina played by Bro Bear. As always, they're going to start with some exchanges. Ooh, it's going to be a grab by Ninetales. Ooh, a quick combo is going to leave Bro Bear on 31%. Fair amount of damage to be going on there. Rosalina looking to finish this very quickly, up to 45% already. But oh, look at that massive combo onto Zero Suit. Nice recovery from Zero Suit, going to take it up to 72% on him. Rosalina now at 20%. Look at these combos, the shield, the dash, the kick. It's back in fools all over. Ha. This caster is having trouble keeping track of these characters. Surely this is an advantage all in Ninetales' favor. Even as Brobear takes up to 98%. 34 for Ninetales. This could be... Oh, it's looking like it is quite a smash as they go back and forth with these. But no real good smash attack. Ooh, nice throw there by Ninetales trying to kill. It's not going to be near close enough. But it is a fresh start looking very nice. And that's another upper kick. That's going to be almost devastating to zero. Ooh, the quick combo landed there. The who by Bro Bear to make the retaliation 64% on Rosalina. Getting close to the point where she could be smashed with a really good combo. Oh, but look at the damage that comes out. A quick one, two, three, and that's gonna leave Bro Bear on 139%. Surely the next smash is going to leave him in the KO position. Oh, double shields, looking over. Neither one wants to give it up, and that's gonna be it. Nine Tails gets the first KO, and that's gonna be one stock taken away from Bro Bear. Going back and forth once again, neither wants to give this up. Obviously, Ninetales trying to get as much damage off before he most surely will give up the stock, but gets as much damage there. Already got 33%, 39%, but he's approaching the death mark of 90% where the KO is highly possible. Look at that shield just shielding for all of that damage. Such fantastic mechanical skill there from Ninetales, but the aerial combat's going to result in a lot of percentage being added on top of Ninetales. He's getting very close to the KO mark now, but he's got so much damage and he's up a stalk on Pro Bear. Look at this, back and forth, back and forth, looking for that so many missed kicks. Ninetales looks completely in control at this point, even at 135%. He's dictating what would appear to be the speed of the combat and how frequent it is, but he's just going to get bullied around as percentage climbs. 140% now, 56, oh, make that 67 on Bro Bear. Oh, and that's game! That's the first game! And it's going to go over to Ninetales. See now, if coming into game two, if anything is changed up, it could be very interesting to see. Is anyone going to change the strategy here? Bro Bear looked very uncomfortable attempting to get in on that, but Ninetales had so much control throughout the entire time. He was continually on the platform, jettisoning others from it. It's going to be very interesting to see if Bro Bear can take back control of the platform, or if he's going to give it up and try and move with something more than aerial combat, or something that can disrupt Ninetales' dominative streak. They're absolutely in control. Looks like both of them are ready to fight though. I don't see any changes coming through. Simply discussing surely which map they're going to be playing on. Right here, as soon as these matches are I don't see any changes coming in. So we're gonna get into this one. No one's changed up the strategy. Ruben must feel very confident on the champion, on the character, excuse me, to play that right into that after he felt. Uh, after it felt, I should say, that uh, Ninetales had such a, a dominative stage there. But going right into it, Robert says, thank you very much. I'll take 30% off you right from the start. Not going to give any quarter now. 
Well, this is a completely different Robe FM game one. Where was this and where did it come from? That's 48% almost instantaneously. The fight is so far. Nice recovery. Much more heated. Ninetales knows he doesn't have too much to lose. He can still give up this game and go to game three and make the 1 0 0. But look at this, Ninetales, he's totally on the defensive now. Robe has come with an A game that is indeed A+. plus. Look at that perfect shielding. He's coming right down in, but he's going to go back down. It's going to be evened up. Ninetales returns with a very nice. It's 91 to 71, easily KO for anyone if they get a good enough combination off on this. 109, 101% now for Ninetales. It's oh, the kick. But it's not enough, not a smash attack, not to get him going very far. Ninetales has been so on point with the shields here to block those basic attacks that are so key for leading into those big smashes all the combos. Oh, that's going to be a kick. That's not going to be enough to send Ninetales flying all the way to his KO. But it's going to be enough to deal significant damage to give the advantage. I would say slightly sword over. You guys are up on two. Black TV oh! And that's going to be the first stop. The first stop goes over nine tails. It's going to lose a stop there. Bro Bear now in the advantage position. Now looking to get the damage off. But look at that. Oh, beautiful recovery as he comes back on. But nine tails now with a complete advantage. Easy to smash. And that's going to be one stop on each. That's going to be 10% on to nine tails and 0% on to Bro Bear as we come into game two. This is. The last stand for Bobe, he's got to make it here if he tends to bring this back with a winning game through. But look at that damage, he comes right back, 38% now, Ninetales, a beautiful combo, is going to land lots and lots of small attacks there. Just rack up the percentage before he goes for a enormous play. As we've seen him before, he's just going to try and whittle him down, whittle him down, win those trades as it were. Whereas we see a lot more big play style coming from Bo Brobear. He likes to move in, he likes to make the big plays, get the combos and lots of damage. 73% for Brobear now, 61 for Ninetales. It's looking like a very promising match. Either team, either player could go down here. Ninetales going to make a nice recovery there. Jump backwards off the ledge and then back on top. An attempted gimp, but it's not going to be enough. Brobear has just enough jumps remaining for to make it back on the ledge with a beautiful recovery. Oh, the up kick. Knocks him to the other side, side to side. Getting close to 100% now. Either one could be KO'd. This is so intense. And is it going to be? There's no gimp. No Gimp and no Meteor coming in, but he's going to throw Ninetales right back off the edge, looking for this, looking, and it's a throw, but it's not enough. It's not going to get the KO. He's still in this pro bear fighting for every single percentage. 10-1. He's up in the air, but he's going to bring it back down. Pro bear so confident, so playing this. Close to the edge, he knows he's got to make this back so knife edged. So they're looking at nine tails. He really does need. Oh, nice recovery again. This is so close. And then next smash attack combo surely will be the end if it goes off on Bro Bear. It's going up. He comes back down. He's not 150% and he's still not being KO'd. The shield's back and forth. Look at those beautiful shields from nine tails. Is it going to be a KO? No, it's not. He's still in this 100% on both sides. 159, 160% for Brobear. He has to make this come back. Nine tails on the other hand, just playing defensively. Is it going to be a game? No, it's not. It doesn't quite go over the edge. What is going on? This is unbelievable. And that's going to be a KO. And the game goes out. And the winner is Brobear. That's going to make it work. Game one going to nine tails. Game two goes to Bro Bear. Such a beautiful. We are going to game three, and it is going to be very interesting indeed to see if there's any changes on the picks. It doesn't look like there's going to be any changes. So no, so far, no one has changed. No one's given up anything. Bro Bear more than making the comeback there, establishing that he can work this character against Ninetales Rosalina. It's not the easiest matchup, but as you see there, he was very confident, very dominant in that matchup. He didn't feel bullied at all the second time around. We're going to see who can establish that kind of dominance over the platform and keep on it as much as possible. Bro Bear has no qualms with flying off one side or the other, but that game we saw him much more often on the platform than off as opposed to the first game. It's going to be 11% instantly going on to Bro Bear. It's not too much, you know, two or three hits. Oh, 
almost doesn't make it back with a ledge, but makes that recovery happen. Lots of damage again going over Brobert, taking 38% now. Rosalina, the Nine Tails, up to 33. A beautiful comeback. That's going to make it even. 44 to 33. This is so close. Could there be the chance that Brobert just makes this amazing 1 0 comeback? 50% for both of these characters now. Neither one of them wants to give up control of that center of the platform. The beautiful shields. Nine Tails has been on point so far, but he doesn't land that shield. That shield's not going to save him. He's going to get knocked up. Is it going to? No. It's not going to result in a loss of stock. He is going to make it back onto the platform with. Oh, why no! That's a smash! That's going to be a KO! Pro Bear lands the critical KO. Unbelievable. And now he has the advantage. The game is in his hands. Can he make it happen? Everyone apprehensive. No one wants to believe. But is the Apple Pie enough? And there we go. 28% now on Rosalina. He's still alive. Pro Bear's keeping it in the game. Can he possibly stay alive long enough to get around 50% damage? The amount of damage that he needs to make this happen in game three. Everything is on the line. The record the stakes, the tournament, it is all here. It happens here. Yeah, Nine Tails is off the stage, but he's going to make the beautiful recovery. He gets shot off. Can he come back? Can he make the comeback? He is going to. He almost gets killed, but it's not enough. Nine Tails returns with another smash. Two stocks still remaining on Pro Bear. He can make this happen. Now is his time. Oh, but it's not enough. The combo lands, but it's not enough. And Nine Tails goes off the edge. That's going to be game. That is the game. Going over to Pro Bear. Unbelievable. Taking it to game three. Showing just because you don't have the dominance in game one does not mean there is no chance. Unbelievable. A true fairy tale story. Who ended up winning that? Pro Bear. Yeah. All right. So incredible. We saw the adaptation. He was coming into that, and the first fight looked so convincing on the part of Nine Tails. He had it in the back. It didn't matter. Bro Bear adapting, making the changes necessary to dominate that fight. Okay. So that's all his stuff. Can you grab your power cord and Epic! <laughs> Truly, that could be the closest game of the evening, if if anything. But we'll have to see. We'll have to wait. So many more matches to come. We'll just have to wait and see.